Hey YouTubers, I just finished an interesting project. You know, now that I think about it, I probably should have documented it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have a case for my computer that I purchased like eight years ago, maybe. <laughs> and um, I mean, the thing was, I had an old HP machine uh, with Windows XP when it first came out. And I basically just, uh, I noticed that everything got really hot in there. I would like open it up and I mean after running it and the hard drives would be so hot they'd be painful to touch. So I ended up buying a case uh, with good fans and power supply and all that. And then I just migrated the whole thing uh, into the new case and I was good to go for a couple years. Then after a few years it started getting old and I uh, and then slow, and then I said, hey, you know, instead of just um, buying a new computer, I can throw a new motherboard into it, and a, a new processor, a few other things, and and have a good computer that is of the specs that I want without, uh, without paying a lot of money for extra things like uh, the case and everything that I really didn't need to replace. And I did... I've done it before. Um, I've, I've replaced the motherboard in that PC or that case probably now it's three times. So basically this time I purchased an MSI board. I've, I've always had really good luck with MSI motherboards and I thought I'd go uh, and, and it was on sale too. Uh, so I, and I'd also thought I'd uh, go a little heavy on the processor. I got a quad core Intel brand uh, processor and it's like having four computers in your in your case the thing just screams uh, I also um, got eight gigs of memory and I'm astounded at how cheap this stuff is these days um, memory eight gigs was $57 <laughs> 58 um, the case uh, uh, actually the no that's the chip the uh, MSI motherboard was 157, but um, but I got a $40 rebate on that, so I guess it's 117. And uh, I actually, instead of what corporate America would prefer, I actually took the trouble to fill out that warranty thing, and it's sitting on my door, ready for me to mail it in. <laughs> now most people. Uh, and they they count on say people saying oh rebate oh let's watch American Idol and then they get distracted and then they don't send in their rebate and they go ka ching well anyway so I paid two fourteen for the high end processor which is like extremely cheap for that much processing power I got one hundred and fifty seven or actually one hundred and seventeen for the motherboard and sixty bucks for the memory and for let's see, uh, 320, 3, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $370 uh, for that much. I upgraded my PC to a quad core, super fast um, machine with 8 gigs. Now it's a 64 bit capable motherboard and processor, and I have an old 32 bit. Uh, Windows XP pro, uh, operating system that I I paid like 40 bucks for back in 2005 I think <laughs> um, anyway um, so I, I knew a guy who works uh, at Microsoft <laughs> and uh, and he got me the uh, pro the the operating system uh, for like half price that was kind of cool. Well, anyway, I didn't feel like throwing that operating system away because, uh, because I, uh, I mean, I paid for it, and most of what I, <clears throat> most of what I do on the machine, or much of it, um, is, um, is basically on XP, and so what I thought I'd do, <laughs> let's see here. I've been wanting to upgrade or to go into Linux for for a couple of years now, but 
it's been kind of daunting because it's like um, it's a really alien environment if you're used to Windows. Uh, there's a lot of command line stuff, and but um, recently there's a, a new operating system based on Ubuntu, which is based on Linux, and it's called the Pingy operating system, and that is based it is based on Linux, but it's got a few additions into it um, to really make it uh, GUI or graphic user interface that's what that stands for um, so basically uh, it um, it has all the capabilities of almost almost all of the capabilities of uh, XP uh, and then some and plus it's really fast um, and it's also kind of cool you got um, you got status uh, of your machine on the right hand side here um, and then you've got um, a quick launch uh, um, set of icons down here. I can't remember what this program's called. Um, so basically, you can launch programs here, and then you've got another quick launch uh, thing right here for locations within your uh, PC. Um, here, you've got uh, the cell card, which is uh, the this thing here acting like a flash memory drive because I had to load a few episodes of the survival podcast onto my uh, cell phone so I can drive to visit my dad today and uh, I can listen to them over this uh, fancy headset and I don't have to be bored while I'm driving <laughs> so anyway and here you've got that's the this is just locations and folders within the PC and then of course you got the main Thing right here which is uh, which is the main computer kind of like my computer in Windows well anyway um, and but there are some things that you can't really do or at least you can do but I haven't figured out how to do figured out how to do them on uh, on uh, on this operating system so I'm the coolest thing is that I was able to continue using my uh, win my Windows XP, which I bought in 2005. Uh, what I did was I wrapped it up in Oracle's Virtual Box program, and basically you can just uh, crank it on, and uh, you can actually load load the thing. It's like a uh, it's like a PC. Um, it's like an emulator it basically pretends there's a PC within the operating system but anyway so this is this is my uh, main PC or my XP machine right here and the coolest thing is you can like copy it and, and make copies and clone it and uh, and then you can uh, if anything goes wrong uh, you can just go back to the previous and it's like software rollback, only uh, you have absolute control. So let me start the machine, and it boots so quick. I was just astounded. There we go. Windows is now booting up within my uh, Pingy operating system machine. And I have lo I've loaded all the updates and everything. And... Uh, I mean, it's got virus protection on it. I mean, the whole thing, the whole deal. And boom, I am up and running now with uh, with Windows. And within Windows, of course, I have Firefox and, uh, and all that good stuff. So, um, so basically, as I learn how to do a lot of the things that I have done with, uh, with Windows... Um, I will slowly over time probably migrate away from the Windows operating system uh, within VirtualBox and do more of my activity on uh, on ba on uh, on the Pingy operating system. And it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things you can do on Linux that you can't begin to do um, on. Uh, uh, on a Windows machine. There's just so many limitations. And then of course there's about a third of or maybe 10% of Windows uh, the, the 
code writing and the planning for Windows is uh, is all about um, copy protection. You know, just to make sure that some programs don't uh, uh, don't get copied. But the thing is, with Linux here, there's very few uh, pieces of software that are actually like purchase software. Everything is sort of uh, it's a lot like a programmer, right? And what they do is they write a programmer and drop it on the uh, a program, and then they have a hat sitting in front of them, kind of like a guy singing on the uh, <laughs> on the street corner with a hat or playing at a guitar, and people walk by and throw a buck in, right? Well, if the program is good, people go, "Wow, this is good," and then they will just go to PayPal and drop him five dollars. I mean, it's only the cost of a latte. So, uh, so whenever I run into that, uh, or whenever I run into good programs like this whole operating system here, um, I will uh, toss some money in. But the thing is, I only just got it running right yesterday. Um, this whole project has been a project of about maybe two days, uh, tearing the old machine out, looking for recipes online for the uh, for the for a good motherboard, a good uh, CPU, a good memory, and uh, and all that. It's not like I thought of all this by myself. <laughs> uh, I could act just like people don't have to figure out how to make bread every single time they want to make bread. What they do is they go on the internet and find a recipe for the kind of bread they want, and then they uh, have put together their shopping list, get the ingredients, and then start cooking. <laughs> well, that's basically what I did. So, my machine here is now basically, even though it looks like the same the same uh, machine, uh, it is basically a new computer, new operating system, and uh, everything is like brand new again. And I have the lifeboat, just in case there's, I mean, there's something that I can't figure out in Linux, which is I can just go to straight to VirtualBox and bring up Windows XP and do it the old-fashioned way. So, and the coolest thing, another cool thing is that since this is open source stuff, uh, almost all the software on here is what they call open source and basically free. Um, they don't have to spend a lot of time worrying about if somebody would copy it without paying them, um, they are. I actually want people to share around the program, and then uh, more people would learn about it, and then a percentage of those people would send them latte money. You know, so um, a lot of the times they don't have to like bury. Uh, with Windows, they hide things and they make uh, to make it almost impossible to copy a piece of software from one computer to another, what they do is they hide uh, DLL files down in the system folders <laughs> and other folder, other parts of the computer. Uh, it's like they had like a handful of nuts or bolts and then they take it and then they throw it <laughs> and they all have to fall in their own little pocket in order to work and if somebody wants to, to copy that piece of software, they grab. They have to put all the bolts in the exact same spot in the new machine. Well, anyway, uh, with this uh, thing, they don't even have to do that. Uh, they can just. <laughs> they don't. They don't have to care about that. They don't have to spend a lot of time setting the program up so that it fights copy protection because it's all. It's a different reality. It's a different world. Um, and then people, when they're recogni recognized with adulation or, or, or buzz or tips or little bits of money here and there, uh, it it really uh, you get the you get 100% of the programmer's efforts and his joy and his creativity, or most of them are guys. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there, every once in a while, there's a one. There's a there's a female programmer, but that's un, that's pretty unusual. But uh, but basically, you get the full joy uh, and the full creativity, the full genius of the human being. Uh, you get the result of that. Um, whereas with corporate 
corporate America, you ha everything's like regimented and everything has to go in its own little pocket. Then you have to make it difficult to steal. Then you have to advertise the shit out of it to try to get people to buy it. Um, it's a whole different world. So uh, I am now, and, and I'm really comfortable in the Pingy, Pingy operating system, even though it's all unfamiliar. It's it kind of it's like deja vu uh, because I it feels a lot like the way I felt when I first started with computers. I mean, I, it was all sort of exciting because I'm learning all the uh, all the new stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. So anyway, the coolest thing if you want software, uh, everything loads by itself practically. You just go into the package manager. Uh, type in your password here and then you have the the thing automatically loads it's kind of like loading add-ons to Firefox or Google Chrome or something for example if you want some kind of Microsoft Office type program you can just type in office and you've got GNOME Office, Open Office uh, Libre Office, which is what's installed on the machine. Uh, you've got other additions to Office, and you've got uh, Libre Office editions for various different languages. And this is all stuff that people just just made. And if somebody says, "Oh man, I need a little bit of functionality in a certain part of the program that that uh, that just isn't there," and if he's a programmer, he writes it himself submits it into the thing and then it's added to uh, to the overall office thing and these are all oh and then there's coffers that's another type of office I guess um, and then there's open office editions again and all this stuff you can just hit the little hit the little uh, X here or the little selector and then select it to download and, and it installs automatically you don't even have to go surfing on a website to do it. Well, this this program's <laughs> this video has been on long enough, so I guess I better upload it and get on with my day. Got many things to do. I'm actually on vacation right now, so I'm gonna go visit some family, make sure they remember me, <laughs> and then uh, have some fun later.